Keskuskamen ku sauna hekilunta. Keskuskamen ku sauna hekilunta. I'm gonna introduce. So hi everyone, Aero here, and I got my fellows here as always. Sam, what's going on? Hey, Aero, good to see you, um, and welcome everybody to another episode of the Upper Bench Sauna Podcast. Um, we're glad you're here. Um, you know, it's it's hot and muggy down here in South Carolina, so I can't wait to jump in the sauna later and cool off a little bit when I get out. Um, Risto, what's the weather like up in Minnesota? Pretty warm, upper 80s yesterday, so uh, we're, we're definitely in summertime. Mm. Um, and I look forward to sounding in the summer also. Oh, absolutely. We, had, we talked about that. By the way, we had in New York, we had yesterday with the steaming hot today, not so much. This would be a perfect day for a sauna. Really would oh, be. I, I think we can all agree that every day is a perfect day for a sauna. <laughs> that's, that's, all, that's also true. Yes. I don't need yes. an excuse, right? So what are we talking about today? Well, I... I've been working on a project that I thought I would share with you guys. Yeah. Um, our family likes to travel up to the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and uh, to use sauna and hop in Lake Superior. Um, they have quite a concentration of Finnish American immigrants, uh, you know, where the grandparents or parents came over from Finland and they settled in that area. Some places up there are as high as 50% of the people are Finnish descended. Oh, wow. So you see a lot of street names with Finnish words and yep. you get a chance to eat some Finnish food and, and use some pretty good saunas. So I was curious about how their saunas differ from maybe saunas in the rest of the United States or maybe the, how they're similar. And um, I want to learn from how they do sauna. So I started collecting pictures of saunas from uh, real estate listings up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So that's the project I've been oh, working on. Oh, very cool. I mean, so yeah, you didn't even have to go to a lot of these places because some realtor had already taken a picture while they're staging a house because I imagine up in the UP, if I'm going to buy a new house, that thing better have a sauna. Lots of them. I mean, tons and tons of them. Sure. Um, yeah, and I thought um, a good way to approach it would be to, to like a, like an anthropologist or an archaeologist. Like as if, let's say we were 100 years in the future and no one knew anything about sauna, sadly. And we stumbled upon these pictures like digital archaeologists. And we're trying to figure out what is this thing that they were doing that they called S-A-U-N-A. -A. So the, the pictures of their sauna give an interesting um, give an interesting picture of that, of what that practice is. So I figured that I can show you some of these pictures. We can see what they're like up there and I can get your guys' commentary on what you notice. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds excellent. Yeah, it's just like we're going to the heartlands of sauna. Definitely. So, so what, what I, what little I know about sauna and the U.S. like and and uh, you know the times when the Finns moved over was like there was a Finnish colony in Vermont. There was a lot of people in Oregon, and obviously most of the the people were in Minnesota and Wisconsin and that area. So, so that 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 were really the people moved into, you know, about hundred plus years ago, and obviously, as we all know, they brought sauna with them. Excellent. Yeah, yeah and I've heard. I can't remember who said this. It might have been our friend Jim Curti, who lives up in the UP. Uh, they refer to this kind of this region by the Great Lakes as the sauna belt, and I think maybe it was him who said that the UP or Copper Country up in this one area of the UP is the buckle of the sauna belt. And I think that's an apt description. That is definitely so, yeah. 
Yeah. So I can share my screen and we can start looking at some saunas from the buckle of the sauna belt. I love it. Buckle, buckle of the sauna belt. Yes. All right. You guys can tell me if you can see this. And we can see it. Thank yeah, absolutely. you. Absolutely. All right. And oh, then wow. we'll need look to, at that. Yeah. We'll need to do some describing for our audio listeners. You guys can just. Um, Maybe I'll introduce the picture and then you guys can tell me what you notice about it. Uh, so this is uh, a stove um, in the hot room. And you guys can go, go ahead and take it away. So, yeah, I'm seeing, I mean, this is definitely a DIY special. I mean, this is definitely, you're not going to find a brand or a logo on this thing if you tried. Because somebody built this thing out of, what they had around and i'm seeing pieces of what i mean little pieces you can see I, obviously the the heat shielding is old tin that they had you know behind the shed and somebody finally i think you know if you said you found this on a on a real estate listing there's definitely new wood used as like a heat guard um, that was put on, I'm assuming, to maybe bring this thing up to code because it does not match. It is looks brand new. There's no heat marks on it. So I'm assuming um, somebody said, hey, you should probably put maybe a, a little handrail or something on here so somebody doesn't bump into this if you're trying to sell this. But I love the DIY nature. And you know this is a true finished sauna when you see an upside down five gallon bucket in the background <laughs> yeah definitely. That, that is so true yeah it's interesting to look at this because that you know you can't really tell about insulation you know how the how the walls are but uh but what always surprises me and and i don't know if it's just me but the heaters are like pushed to the very far corner and, uh, yeah. and that was not typical when I grew up in Finland. You know, it is like they were obviously they were not smack in the middle of the with the, the, the hot room, but they, 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 there was a lot of air between the wall and the heater. And this case, as I see so many times, it's just smack in the in the in the corner, and and hence the shields and and whatnot. Um, it's an interesting, it's an interesting setup and, and kind of, you know, the support, you look at the floor, you look at that stuff going on. It's a very self-made setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, go ahead. Yeah. Well, the floor and the floor has drainage. Uh, looks like you can definitely use water in that one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. It looks like it might be even, I mean, wood planks on top of gravel. Mm -hmm. um with some duckboard on top of there um you know I, I do see you know there are yeah the way the stove is built you can tell this thing is um kind of a handyman special the one thing that i you know for our our audio listeners the, on the back side there's actually like a galvanized steel uh leg um that's one thing that i would probably advise against um in any stove construction do not use galvanized steel um, because it will off gas and it's not pleasant. Yeah, I think when I first got into sauna, if I would have seen a sauna like this, I would have thought, oh, that looks terrible. There's no way I want to use that. Just looks cobbled together. Um, probably not going to be very good. I would like something that looks fancier and nicer. But the more I've used sauna, now I see ones like this and I think that's probably a good sauna. Oh, absolutely. This thing looks drafty. This thing looks hot. Um, and you know what? I would use this thing any day of the week because I know it's probably been used a ton. And any sauna that's been used a ton, it, it, it didn't disappoint. I agree. That there's, a, there's a lot of love with this one. But I have a question, question for you guys. How do you find the rocks on the heater? You know, th these, this looks like probably a single box of your run of the mill sauna rocks. Um, I'm guessing, you know, probably depending on where the top of that burn chamber is, you're probably only looking at about 40 kilos of rocks, which 
maybe maybe is enough for this you know smaller sauna this is probably you know if i would say dimension wise this thing looks like it's probably about a six by six um maybe even a little bit smaller on the one side yeah i think they're i think they're lake superior rocks if i'm if i'm not mistaken if i had to guess could be the- yeah they they do they look uniform and that's why i almost think that they were um, purchased, but yeah, if this is up in on the UP and there's good shore rocks, sometimes you can find a you know a unlimited supply of these. So, yeah, because that's exactly why I'm asking because I'm not familiar with those rocks. You know? Yeah, the the dark blue ones are common up there, and it does yeah. look like they they for sure selected. Um, if they are like Superior rocks, they definitely selected for one type of rock. Are they good at keeping their heat? Yeah, and they are. Those are great for keeping their heat because they are a very dense rock Mm -hmm. um, and very hard. Um, So I, I I think you know, as far as using them for sauna rocks, I have never had anybody complain about them. Um, You know, they will deteriorate over time, just like any any sauna rock of regular use, but. Um, I, I think they probably even last a little bit longer than like your lava rocks that are, that are purchased. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right. it, it, it's got, it's got, you know, one final word, you know, it's got this rusty, beautiful look to it. You yeah. know, it, it, it's, it's the real deal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me get the next photo here. This is this is inside someone's house. A um, little bit nicer of a sauna here, and then I'll let you guys go ahead and take it from here and see what you notice about this one. You want to go some first? No, Arrow. This one's all you first. Well, the um, I I have a I have some issues with this one. See, uh, you know, I'm not familiar familiar with that kind of paneling, and uh, and I uh, I it. For me, I'm, I might be mistaken, but the benches seemed a little bit too low for my taste. And 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 looking at the wall with the with the shower and whatnot things there, I see my hands getting burned pretty damn bad. So so it, it, it's like you know I, I again I have to apologize if I'm totally wrong, but but this is not necessarily my kind of sauna it could be though fantastic but but um but yeah it's it's and and also also the uh the bench the 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 two tier bench is awesome it's exactly the way it should be but they seem to be a little bit narrow the benches are so that's that's my first take on it what i see on the floor might be great though because it looks like there's a drain which is awesome. So, so there's so so the the good part about this sauna is that you can you can use a lot of water, which I like, in a sauna. Other than that, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So, you know, my first take on this is this is probably in you know someone's basement or someone's maybe garage off an outshoot, but it's definitely got a concrete floor. Um, you know, and the first, you know, the, I would say the first block is, is exposed along the bottom and probably sealed because this does look like a sauna that gets a plenty of water thrown around in it. And which is also evident by the, 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 the foot bench or the lower bench, you can see the water that has basically seeped through the bench into the vertical tongue and groove on that far wall. Um, and, and really had created this, you know, ring of stain that almost looks like a a really good smoke ring for my smoker doing a brisket. Um, it's really, really, um, you know, absorbed into the meat, (laughs) but yeah, like arrow said, the top or upper bench, uh, is probably not the, the highest that I would, that I would recommend for a, you know, a ceiling height like this. It appears to me like this is probably an eight foot ceiling, um, if probably an eight foot ceiling, give or take. Um, And when your upper bench is still, you know, in that bottom half, 
that's pretty tough. Um, you know, I would want that at least the, at the four foot mark, um, you know, for a minimum. Um, but I do like, I like, sh I like showers in, in saunas. Um, I have no problem with that as long as they are adequately drained, um, and able to be dried out. Um, this, this sauna definitely got used. This sauna sees uh, a lot of, of wear and tear because of the water use, which is evident. So yes, is this a great place to bathe and, and get a, a really deep clean and, and a nice hot environment? Absolutely. Is this going to provide the best, you know, uh, Loilu? Maybe, maybe not. And so you brought up you spot on with your observations, and this is a good one. I'm glad this one came up next for us because this sauna would get rated poorly on many of the online sauna forums. People would notice, and rightly so, that the top, the upper bench is very low. It's better mm -hmm. if an upper bench is higher, like you guys were saying, because you're up in the heat and steam. Also, there's probably not ventilation in this sauna and ventilation is very important in a sauna and very good. But the interesting thing to notice about this, like one question I had when I first saw these pictures is if they're up in the UP, how could they get that wrong? Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, honestly, I, I think you know, depending on the listing here. Now, I haven't seen any other pictures of the house. I don't know the cost of the house. I don't know anything about it. If I had to guess, this house was built in the 70s and it was a little bit more upscale. And this was a person that hired a contractor that probably built them what they thought they wanted. And unfortunately, none of them consulted with any real you know, finish sauna bathers. Well, and I think, <clears throat> I think they, I think they, uh, they think of sauna a little bit differently than the, the rest of the United States. I'm speaking generally here and obviously not mm -hmm. everywhere. And even in the online sauna world, you know, like we might first look at the bench heights and look at the ventilation, look at these very technical measures Whereas up in the UP, I think that shower is a higher priority for them. That shower being in the sauna and the ability to, to bathe in there. Sam used the word useful or, you know, I think sauna is much more of a practical, useful thing for them up there. I agree. And I think that's evident with the, the you know, there's definitely a lot more use of showers inside saunas in especially you know northern uh central minnesota all the way spanning all the way over to the up through wisconsin um where i think the lot of rest a lot of the world that goes online no one is is highlighting that you're not going to find somebody um you know, using a bucket of water and throwing it over their head in any online picture or depiction of sauna, which yeah. is unfortunate. Uh, I think that 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 is a, a, a would be a great place uh, to highlight. Hey, this is just this is a this is a holistic, clean place. Um, the one thing I can't see in this picture, which I'm you know, I would be interested in is the stove configuration. What is this? Is this a electric um, you know, small, you know, wall mounted heater, or is this a large rock tower heater that has a lot? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there you go. Perfect. There you go. Okay. Hey, hey, before we go there, go back, yeah. back. I have a question for you guys, because for me, as a Finnish foreigner in this, this great country, the one thing I see, which you probably may not see, is the light in the ceiling. Is that normal? Is that because because when I, where I grew up, we never had lights in the ceiling, never ever. And Arrow, that's a great point, and that's what that's what tipped me off that this was a contractor or a kit build, um, and this is somebody that built it in in maybe a you know a as more of a luxury than an actual sauna. Um, yeah. The fixture itself looks a, a little higher end. 
Um, you know, I've seen, I've seen saunas that literally had a spigot with a three foot length of hose that came off of it. And that was their shower and way to fill buckets. And you know what? It worked. Um, I, you know, you can't complain, uh, with, with functionality. Well, we'll, yeah, let's, let's keep looking and we'll see, I guess if we see that a bunch more times, that tells us how sauna may be evolved in the UP. Right. So there's the, there's the heater. So yeah, a, 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 a mid-level uh, rock tower heater, probably about 30. No, I would say probably about 24 to 26 inches off of the floor in height um, with that's gotta be, you know, that's gotta be about a hundred pounds of rocks. Um, yeah. if not, maybe more, mm -hmm. but if that's the, if that's throwing off some serious steam and I know those boys up in the UP like to wire two thirty um, and get their European heaters going because I, it, looking at that heater, it does not look U S made. Well, no sauna heater is U S made, but that one looks to be an import. So that one could be running on a, on a higher, um, high limit so you could be getting up to 230 degrees with that unit well i have some inside info here okay let me lay it on me am i right or wrong <laughs> this is a that was some good archaeology but it's a, it's a little off dang uh, this is a unicorn um this is an elo heater elo brand heater out of dollar bay michigan up in the up oh my goodness yeah i have never seen one of those it's electric and they have tons of them up there Cool. I'm going to have to check that out because they look like a stout little heater that is uh, maybe a good combination for those that are interested in, you know, a more, um, you know, rock capacity and, and, so not, and not have to compromise a 60 inch heater. So is, is that ELO? Is this ILO or ELO? ILO. So that means happiness in Finnish. There you go, and uh, and and it seems that the the back that the back wall seems to be charred, so that yeah. that's kind of an interesting thing. And also, the door is not on cold, so it, it opens up wrong ways. But, that's a great uh, point, Arrow. I I just noticed that as well. That the door does swing inward, which is highly not recommended. So now I'm looking at this more and more. This is probably a conversion of a pantry or root cellar. Um, you know, I am seeing, you know, that the concrete looks good, so it's not super old. Um, but yeah, the charring on the back with that kind of a clearance and no heat shielding, um, that is definitely a liability, but which also led me to, you know, think who knows what kind of a high limit these guys are, are putting out. Um, hopefully they're, they're fighting the good fight. All right, let's let's keep going. And there's a drain in this one, so let's let's keep going. Uh, this is outside in the just the outside area. So, yeah, there's more no... 45 degree tongue and groove. Yep. Um, does look like it's seen its fair share of use and wear. Um, you know, some cupping on the boards. So that's what led me to think 70s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, here's another one. We have a new sauna, the hot room. What do you guys, what are you seeing here? Interesting. I, I would, my first reaction is that, that again, I, I don't know why I'm, I, I should not be against these showers inside the hot room, but I, I'm just, I'm just in my mind, it's, it's all about heat. So, uh, so that like, if you grab that, that shower head, you're going to burn your hand maybe. Yeah. And, uh, and the same thing as before. You know, very narrow uh, benches, which I'm not used to. Yeah, those benches are, they look like square cut, you know, true two by fours. Um, you know, those are definitely milled. I can definitely tell this is a, a homemade sauna, but the person knew what they were doing. Um, not to an extent that it's, you know, luxury, but this person knew it probably either had a buddy that had a mill or, 
he, you know, knew how to put two pieces of wood together because this is, you know, really nice cut um, lumber on the benches, but only being three boards deep um, just doesn't provide enough butt coverage for today's adult hiney. So um, I'm a big fan of a wider bench too, but I do like the little, sh- I'd like, I like the little wood shelves that were created on the wall. Um, they're almost just like little soap holders for the shampoos and conditioners, whatever. I, obviously this is being used as a very wet sauna, but this does look like it was maybe converted from a shower or this guy had some plumbing fixtures around because that's a very common um, you know, 80s, 90s uh, shower head and a knob. I don't like the big plastic diamond in the hot room because, mm. you know, if you're turning that thing on or off, that thing can warp over time and, and, and really probably be hot, even though it's plastic. But, you know, it, it's gonna, it's not gonna do well over time, I don't think. I would much rather have a, a metal handle that you could maybe grab with a towel or a, even a a oven mint, if you're going to be reaching in for hot things. What do you think the paneling is? Is that pine or spruce or what, what could that be? It does look like rough cut uh, pine. Um, It's seen some use. I don't know if this is maybe, I mean, being up in the UP, there could be, it, it, you know, it, it's a, it's a little darker variety. Um, these boards seem to be, I, I don't want to say treated, but it, it, they do seem to be obviously a different species than the benches. Um, unless yeah. the benches have been recently been sanded, they just look much lighter than, than the, 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 the whatever the wall panels, if you will. Um, it does look tongue and groove, so I don't know the thickness, mm. but it does look well constructed. And I think this is something that an average UPer would have available to them. See, see, when I was growing up in Finland in the in the sixties, the we, we there was almost like the Norman. I don't know where it came 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 up from, maybe Africa, but we were using Apache Apache tree for mm-hmm. for for the benches. And they were fantastic because you don't burn your butt, mm-hmm. you know, in any they, circumstance. They, they barely hold any heat. It's great. <laughs> they're just, they're wafer thin in, in density, which is great because they breathe. They dry out really, really well. Um, I, I'm a big fan of that as well for, for benching. And that, that looks like, the, you know, the hue is kind of light. The exact mm-hmm. same as Apache, but I don't know if that that is the case. But but anyway, it it almost looks like a white pine on the benches. Okay, it might be hot. It might be pretty hot. But um, as far as cost efficiency, and if you're using that shower head quite a bit, maybe he replaces those benches regularly because mm. three two by fours every six months is not a big price to pay for fresh benches. Yeah, especially if you have the mill which I think you're right. And there's tons of sawmills up there. Mm-hmm. Um, so you you guys have already commented a few times on the DIY nature of sauna. That is how sauna is up there. You will find very few kits. Mm-hmm. Um, and you you mentioned the, the soap and shampoo. As our family has went and used different saunas, I've learned that if you see some soap and shampoos on those sauna shelves or buckets, that's, a, that's a generally a good sign that this is going to be a, a, a functional sauna. Um, and also I noticed the other one, I didn't see any temperature gauge on the wall. This one has a temperature gauge, but it doesn't look like it was really used. They're just setting it on the bench there. That's an interesting uh, observation there, Risto, because I, I, as you know, I, I can argue both sides of, of having a thermometer or not having a thermometer. I currently do have one since I recently built a new uh, sauna just because I, I did, I was curious about the stove and, and what it could do, but now, now knowing how it, how it functions, I could easily take that off the wall and be probably just as good. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have to keep an eye out for that on the mm-hmm. other, other ones. 
That's that's actually that's actually an interesting conversation in itself because back in the day and even today, what the thermometer is for is for the heating process. It's not for the for, for me. It's not for the bathing process. I'm not interested in the heat. You know, the, in the, I, I don't, I'm not interested in knowing how hot it is when I'm sauna bathing, but I'm interested when I'm getting ready to sauna bathe. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so there, there are different philosophies on that thing. Absolutely. So, so we have to say, for, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, sorry, Risto. I, I, we've been talking over each other. Gotta love that Zoom pause. <laughs> yeah. um, I was just gonna say, I've been finding myself recently, yeah, I, I, I look at that thermometer and, and I ride that wave up. As soon as it hits 180, I jump in and I know that my rising temperatures with my wood stove, I'm probably gonna top out at around 200. Um, but I like, I like being in there during the, the increase from 180 to 200, and then it'll fluctuate as I add or not. But I know, I, I like knowing when the start point is, I don't want to jump in too early. That's, and then yeah. Arrow said sauna bathing again, as he often does. And mm -hmm. I would say that so far, the UP is definitely emphasizing the bathing part of the sauna bathing. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. I just want to get back to that that thermometer thing. So it's just like you know, you I I grew up watching the thermometer during the heating process. After you know that sauna is ready, what you do is you 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 don't look at the thermometer anymore. You look up the amount of logs in the in the heater. So that's that's how you know where you are going. You know, mm -hmm. of course, of course, if you if you overdo it, you start feeling like you know the sound is too hot. Or if you underdo it, you know that okay, I have to put some more logs in to get some heat into the place. But yeah, that 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 exciting, yeah. And sauna bathing, yes, of course, yeah. I'm not, when I talk about sauna bathing, I'm not talking about cleansing that much. I'm just talking about the process of of enjoying sauna. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, is this the same one? I think it is. I think we're looking at the heater. Okay. So the, the, this is uh, a little bit wider than I had originally, you know, kind of led on by the, the first picture. So this is probably an eight foot wide sauna by about, you know, six feet deep. Um, it does have another one of these um, UP heaters, looks like a, a, a basket. The Elo. Um, yep. And it and it is surrounded by just some makeshift pine potentially that that it does look like a pine or I'm sure I'm going to get killed in the comments if this is not pine, but it does mm -hmm. resemble a spruce or a, a, a conifer tree. <laughs> um, you know, a simple heat guard around it. You can tell this is a on a concrete floor that has seen plenty of minerals um it, what this is telling me is they probably have a lot of calcium in their water um or something else that is staining that concrete from throwing water um around plus with the shower head so that that concrete seeing a lot of uh mineral abuse but um it does if it's if it's getting used it's getting used you can see the bottom of the floor um, where it meets the walls, there has been some leaching um, of moisture up into the bottom of the boards, so it does get used, and you can tell it probably has upwards of an eighth of an inch of standing water at any given time. If I'm, I'm assuming if the shower's on full bore, um, it's getting everywhere, so um, good water pressure. <laughs> What I really like, obviously, is the drain. I, yeah. I love the drain. So drain. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, so that that that's the good part. Um, it 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 is a well loved, well used sauna, and uh, and it's interesting. Like, uh, you know, that, that those those wall panels are so knotted, and that's kind of that's kind of interested interesting. And uh, some people would not like that. Some people do like that and uh, just so it's a, just a matter of taste but again it's it's a well loved and used zone absolutely right. so we we've got the next one i don't know you can maybe we'll we'll uh 
we'll move through a few kind of quickly and see how many we can get through here. What do you notice on this one real quick? My favorite thing is, is the window. It appears to look out over the lake or out over an, an opening. Um, it's a very small pocket window, probably 24 inches wide, 48 inches tall, um, maybe, maybe smaller than that even, but uh, perfectly centered in the room. Really, uh, you can tell that all the lines in the sauna really extend outward, um, which is, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but the, the wall that the heater is on is on the left with vertical running boards where the rest of the sauna has horizontal running boards. So I don't know if that was um, on purpose to give an illusion or not, but the benches uh, have a perfect angle pointing out the window, which I like. Um, Looks like there's plenty of room on that upper bench, um, maybe a little narrow on the narrow side. Uh, looking back at it again, it looks like three boards deep. Those might be two by sixes, though. It might be a little bit of an optical illusion there. Um, height wise, we're just scratching the surface of where I might want to be. If it could just be an inch or two higher, I think we're right on the money there um, where your feet are in line with the top of the rocks and your butt just needs to be just a tad higher. But I like it. I like this one a lot. I think this one gives a very good steam. The, the thing that I, I, you know, you both of you must have noticed this right away, but the, it's a perfect footrest. Can you see that? That's mm -hmm. that's awesome. That that's like uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, where I come from, you would have like some kind of a like almost like a uh, what do you call that thing? Not a barrier, but but like a t higher kind of a uh, rest that you can put your feet on. Mm. But that that's perfect. So it's it's it, 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 you know whoever owned this or owns this is a real sauna connoisseur. But uh, yeah, no, no, this this is nice, you know, and it it it, it looks very used, which is okay. a good thing. So a little sandpaper, you know, with real little cleaning up and checking the then you know whatever the rock situation is there. I can't see how many rocks they have. Maybe it would need like a refill, you know, clean up and refill. But and 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 obviously also the window. As Sam stated, the window is essential and it's not too big. I'm I'm little against the new fad, you know, having these through a whole walls of of stuff. I, I I'm 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 not used to that. Maybe I would get used to it, but but that kind of a window window and I'm 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 boring our listeners telling stories about you know about my my sauna bathing experience back home in Finland, but. But well, we always timed our sauna for the sunset. And we had the same setup. There was a window that we could look the sun, the sun coming down. And it was just perfect. You know, so it was you had the, the visuals, you had the you had the sauna experience, you had everything. So so uh yeah, as yeah, well. Nine out of ten on this one. Correct. I agree. All right. Here's an now. This is an interesting one. It's an indoor. It's electric, not an Elo, which is kind of the uh, exception. But what what do you guys notice about this one? Interesting. So geometrically, it's uh, it's it's tough on the eyes. I, I'm not gonna lie. So the left far wall has a 45 degree tongue and groove. And the back wall is just 90 degree horizontal. You have an L bench that has 45 cutoffs on the corners, but it then L's over to where the wall mounted uh, heater is. Um, it's a pretty standard heater. Um, that's going to be your, your standard six kilowatt wall mounted heater with uh, a nice heat guard around it. The wood trim heat guard. I do like, um, it's hard. It's hard to. T it's hard to look at though with the forty-five degree tongue and groove on the one wall, and everything else is running perpendicular or horizontal, and um, it's very distracting. Like as far as you know, a peaceful setting, I wouldn't like this because I would be 
just, I, I couldn't focus. I, 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 but good on this person. This person probably was a handyman special. Um, you know, this obviously wasn't a kit. Um, the, the actual woodworking is, is great. Um, you know, this was assembled very well. It looks like a nice floating or, you know, kind of a faux floating, uh, bottom bench, which I like, I like that aesthetic, but again, the bottom bench and the, and the upper bench are significantly lower than I would like, but this does look like a very low ceiling sauna, but I, that could just be a visual, uh, kind of miscue from the weird runs on the wood. I agree. I agree. The the one thing that I I, I saw right away was that the uh, that this is kind of stupid, but the thermometer has to come down. It's like it's 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 uh, it's touching the ceiling, which is not good. So it's like whatever heat is up there is basically irrelevant. You know, the, what's irrelevant? I mean, what is relevant is where you are. And uh, the the way I see it on this is talking about social media. You know, the benches, maybe depending on how this picture was taken, the benches might be a little too low and uh, too low. And the heater is like, you know, it, it has to, you know, the benches has to be higher up considering, you know, in 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 terms with where, where the, the heater is that, that your feet are not going to uh, stay cold. And also something that might be totally wrong, but... Again, as always, I can't see any vents anywhere. So it's like, but they 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 might be there, but I I I can't I can't tell. I, I am than, not seeing any any sort of ventilation other than I I ha, I am hopeful because a lot of these are looking like homemade doors, and as we all know, a homemade door is going to not have a perfect seal on it, so it is going to be able to breathe. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's a, that's a good point. That's a good point. Other than that, you know, they they have a, uh, you know, there's 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 a bucket somewhere. There's a ladle, so uh, that's a good sign. So you know, this this space is used for sauna bathing. Yeah, I'd give it a whirl. Yeah, I think the legal requirements legal requirements in the online forums are ventilation and high benches, which I totally agree with. If you break those, you get sent to sauna jail. Yeah. But up in the UP, it's if you don't have the ability to use your sauna to bathe, then you get sent to UP sauna jail, which I think <laughs> is an interesting thing. Agreed. I think you're going to be able to have a functioning wood room, regardless of heater, regardless of benching. But you better have the ability to throw some water around. Yeah. Yes, totally. Let me see. Um, do you guys want to, I can just kind of thumb through these. I'll go kind of at a medium speed. Whenever okay. you see which one you like and you want to comment okay, on. Yeah, just, lightning round. Yeah, and then you could just tell me stop, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, go back one. This is another trend that I'm seeing. This is another uh, L bench, but the corners on some of the benching, especially in the entryways leading into the sauna are cut at a 45. Um, so they're trying to maximize the amount of benching that they have up on the wall here, um, but they didn't want to have this sharp corner sticking out into a walkway. You know, as you open the door and walk into your sauna, the last thing you want is this sharp corner, you know, sticking out. But again, I, I think it's, it's, it's tough. I, 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 aesthetically, I don't like it. Because you, no one's going to sit on that tiny little corner there, right? You, you obviously are, are too close to the door there to enjoy um, wanting to sit there. No one likes sitting next to the door in the sauna because everyone's coming and going. You're getting cool. Um, I say cut those off you know, make your benches, you know, appropriate for the people that are going to use them. And, and so that every seat in the house is a good seat in the house. Um, having these little cutoffs and corners and stuff like that, unless you're putting shampoo over there, um, why bother? But again, that's my, that's going to be my rant. And I know there's going to be some woodworkers out there that don't like that. Um, but Hey, fight me. 
send me a message tell me why i'm wrong <laughs> i have a question for you guys the um uh, a little story maybe 10 years ago i was at the 10th street bats which is a russian bunny here in new york city and they had like just a showcase they had like on the upper bench or whatever they call that in in a bunya they had this rock that used to be one of the one of the rocks in inside their huge huge heater so it was it was there at the corner at the very corner of the upper bench and i for some reason i don't to this day i can't know i can't remember why but my elbow touched that rock and I had like a serious burn in my hand mm -hmm. for about a month. It just, it just like very, you know, it just touched it like, you know, very fast. So what about the, the brick wall? Is that something that you can control inside a sauna? Is that something that is not that hot? Because if you're going to put your back, if your back is going to touch that, I don't know. Right. Is that, is that a problem? So I, I would have to ask, you know, this looks like it's in a basement, looks like a window was boarded up, um, you know, and a, kind of an egress window that was boarded up with uh, with some wood. This was probably an old root cellar or something like that. But uh, yeah, depending on how long this thing's been heated, how, how hot is a brick wall going to get? Um, and what's on the other side of that brick wall? If, if what's on the other side of that brick wall is earth, um, it's going to take a long time to heat that, that stone up to where it's any danger to you, but it is going to be warm, but it's not going to be, be too hot that you can't touch it. But if that is an exterior wall, that's being beaten on by the sun on the other side, um, we might be getting into a different ball game because, uh, that it's going to be a lot drier and a lot, a lot hotter. Yeah, I think it probably is the basement. Uh, I don't know if the other picture kind of shows, but I think it, it is the it, basement, so it probably isn't it getting... It does look subterranean, if you will. Yeah. All right, so let me um, let me go through just for a couple minutes uh, for you guys. I'm just going to go through the pictures a little faster so you guys can see some more of these. Okay. I think I have about sure. 500. I think I have about 500 of these pictures. So, <laughs> oh yeah, we've got, we've got content for days. <laughs> yeah. If we ever want to revisit this or look at any more of this or look in a different area, we can. Oh, and, and I want to, I want to put this out to the, the listeners. If you want us to comment on your sauna, mm -hmm. send us a picture. It's not hard to get a hold of us. Um, get a hold of us on Facebook, get a hold of us on whatever platform you like that sends me an email um and go ahead and send us a picture of your sauna we'd love to highlight it and 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 critique it and tear it apart and tell you what's great and what's bad but again it, it's it's going to be great regardless so send those pictures to us we'd love to see them yeah and really the important uh you know, people get defensive of their saunas and rightly so, you know, if it's something that they built mm -hmm. and that they love, yep. um, that's understandable. And you should love your sauna, how it, you know, like how it is, you don't need other people's approval, but, but if you do oh. want feedback, um, from people, then Ooh, stop. Okay. I, I not, not what you're saying, Risto, what you're saying is a hundred percent true people's yeah. saunas. If you build them, they love them. And you're never going to tell me that any sauna that I built with my two hands, isn't the best thing since sliced bread. But yeah. if you put a toilet in your sauna, I have issue in the changing room. Okay. This is the changing room. Okay. I thought this, this was a hot room. room. No, this is the changing room. And you will see this actually quite a bit in the UK okay. Okay. either a toilet in the changing room or an outhouse next to the sauna nearby okay. a few feet away. It, that but, completely. Okay. It, yeah. As long as it's not in the hot room. No, no, we're okay. No, no but no. Yeah, I, I agree. But there's a different approach to this. So I've, I've seen a lot of these, like a toilet in the changing room, but I don't really think that that's the way it should go though, because the changing room is where the, the, you know, you, where your clothes are and where you take a shower. Yeah, so, but but this is kind of a standard thing in North America. That's what people do. And, and, and I, uh, I think the UPers, you know, they definitely 
are using this as a utility item. This is not a luxury item. This is something that is being used in a hygienic fashion. This is somewhere where they're getting cleaned up. They're, you know, whatever rituals outside of that they have. But obviously, you know, the three bucket, go ooh, one back, please. The yeah. three buckets. I yeah. Seeing one bucket is great. Seeing three buckets is better. This, this reminds me, yeah, and, and that's funny to see the Ill, Illo happiness uh, here, there once again, and now now it's in the right spot. It's exactly where it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Again, as always, and this is a constant fight, you know, the upper bench to me seems to be too low, but um, depends on, you know, how hot the sauna is, but, but this looks yeah. like a perfect sauna to me. Yeah, and I think I totally agree. They are too low for me, but Ooh. but it's a, it's a matter of prioritization, I think. Yes, of course, of course, and and there's uh you know this 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 heater probably here is that that's welded um, steel, so there's a lot of radiation heat coming yeah, from that's that. That's a thing. that's an old nipa, mm. and it, it is a little uh, depending on how wide the camera view is i don't know how long the the sauna is but that could get hot yeah super hot super super hot yeah true yeah so nipa stoves were made in the up originally in bruce crossing i think his name was maybe leo nipa uh listeners can correct me if i'm wrong now they're made in uh down in downstate in lower michigan um but they they originated in the up So any of our listeners can go on to Zillow or any of the other real estate websites and they can just do a search for things that have been sold or are for sale. There's our first keg water heater. There's several of those up in the UP. That's Um, interesting. That's interesting. If you put uh, sauna as a keyword, You'll find many, many houses. Like I said, you can. There's hundreds of these photos that you can look at and use it as kind of an education. Um, you don't have to do it the same way that they did it, but but it's worth paying attention to to what they do with sauna up there. Love it. I love all of these. I I, I get a lot of inspiration from a lot of these because again, I, if such a soft spot for the DIY crowd, um, you know, if if you're gonna sauna, build it. I, I think everybody should learn how to you know be able to frame a small structure and be able to tack up some tongue and groove or just some even some boards. Um, those are skills that are going to transfer to a lot of other areas. Um, simple construction skills that are just handy to have. And plus, you everybody who builds a sauna, they love their own sauna. You can tweak it, you can do whatever you want with it, um, but you're always going to have that you know just that sense of pride in in what you did there um every time you use it so that's why i definitely recommend everybody give it a whirl did you see that picture like maybe 50 50 slides before when there was a wine bottle rack on the upper bench of the sauna yeah so so that was the situation when i first moved to the us so uh so there there was like a fad in my neck of the woods you know they they had been in the 70s they have sold many saunas around here but because they were not that well heated and there was no you know there was no water around you know there was no places to rest people rest people didn't know what to use the sauna for so they decided not to use the sauna but they converted the saunas to uh, wine cellars and uh and 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 we are still in the process of 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 oh that's an interesting heater right there that's that's like that's something that is is not familiar to me but anyway the point is that when people don't know what to use the sauna for uh, so, uh, uh, and particularly when it's in the basement you know the 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 wine cellar is is a is a fantastic option for it obviously i wouldn't go for one perfect 
Well, thank you guys for uh, let me show you some of these photos. Um, no, yeah, Risto, I can't wait to to see more of these down the road here, and especially any one of uh, you know any one picture that we get from our viewers. Love to see those too, and we'll definitely highlight you. But these are just these are great examples of traditional saunas before anybody else you know got branding ideas before instagram was influencing them these were being used for traditional finnish sauna bathing um and and they deserve to be applauded even if they may be functionally a little bit off from what you or i would think is great i think these are being used they're being used regularly and any sauna that is being used regularly um it can't yeah i can't knock it so true thank you gentlemen we'll get back to you and our listeners and everybody very very soon mm -hmm.